became very interested in our 40th anniversary celebration last year about the history of studio jewelry, which is what we call this kind of designer jewelry where the artist makes the piece that they conceive. So I set out to invite some of the artists we've represented anywhere from 20 to 40 years and challenge them to identify and then make a jewel or jewels around their muse. Interestingly, I invited 22 jewelers. Many of them, the challenge was not possible. So these 14 jewelers whose work we're showing really uh, reached beyond their usual boundaries and they came up with muses from what you might expect, jewelry history, many other early studio jewelers, uh, art history, artists like Ellsworth Kelly and Richard Caldicott. One of the artists is inspired by Instagram because it allows her to see so many different things in media, so many other visual stimulation that influences her gem set jewelry. Um, some of the artists, many of them, understandably are influenced by bigger ideas like nature and you can see that in the work. in Switzerland and I'm represented by um, Aaron Faber here in New York and by Bentley and Skinner in London. I'm known as the gold weaver of Lucerne. I earned that title for the for the snake, for this, um, I mean I call it the golden serpent, but then I really earned it by going into the spider webs. And the, the Museum of Arts and Design in New York has my big spider web in their permanent collection. And just last week, um, the pyramid, what I'm wearing here, is being accepted at the Cooper Hewitt. It's the sensual pleasure of the silkiness and the ephemeral quality of it, and the shadow that it makes when the sun shines on it, that fascinates me. And it was difficult. I, for this giant spider web, I had a, a, a fabulous architect design it for me because it's very difficult to figure out the exact um, measurements. Juha Koskela is from Finland and we started representing his work only about eight years ago. We met him through another show we had done about mentors and apprentices. And it turned out an artist we represented for a very long time, Michael Good. His apprentice was Juha Koskela. We reached out to him in Finland and learned about his work. It's extraordinary. He is an amazing metalsmith. He's able to work with silver, gold, and different alloys in an extraordinary way. He makes everything himself. His hands dictate the design. So he's not coming from a drawing and then trying to reproduce it. He's working through this inspiration of a metalsmith. We're really delighted to have his work in the show. Uh, Arata Fuchi, we met through another of our artists, Lucy Heskett Bram, who is the gold weaver. She was in London, she saw his work in a gallery. She called me in the middle of her night here at the gallery, it was normal hours, and started to tell me about this extraordinary Japanese artist working in Florence, making organic, influenced, outrageous jewelry and through email and through other friends we finally got a collection of his. We are so excited by it. It's very boundary breaking. It is sculpture that you can wear rather than conventional jewelry. None of the artists whose work we represent could be considered conventional but Arata's work is really sculpture.